None. Okay, so what do you rate Arteta? I'm going to go ahead and rate Arteta. I'm going to give him a seven today. What about you, Eric? Very good. Very good performance by Arteta. And I think he noticed, he knew that they were, we were going to get another extra 10 more minutes into the clock. And I think he chose to bring on Jesus and, um, um, and Fabio at the right time. So seven for me. I'd, uh, I, I'm um, not that high on him at all today. I thought we could have lost that game today. Um, if Garnacho is a millimeter on sides, like further back, if Gabby doesn't do no, that genius. No, but props to Gabby because he, that. yep, yep. <laughs> genius. Uh, we, we can see that. Uh, I rate him, uh, I got him out of five. I think we got a little lucky. And I think it's time he puts, you know, I think he's been trying out some stuff. And, you know, to be a great coach, you have to be stubborn. But you can't be stubborn to the point where you're dropping points unnecessarily. And that was almost where we were at. So I think it's time for him to, like, you know, stop trying to make this thing that he's trying to make happen happen so much and just kind of, like, let... But what's, what is the thing, though? Because he pretty much went back is. to the old tactics other oh. than Kai. Yes. Yeah. Well, there you go. Because who That's else it. is he going to play? Partey. Partey's not there. Kai. Kai's is the, Kai. Kai's not working. He can't. Bro, come. you just don't like fucking Kai, bro. No, Kai is not That's working. You said it yourself. You you you. With this, he, he oh went God, back. Bro. He went back to the old shit, though. He did. There's no Grand Shack anymore, baby. And who else do you play there? Trazard. There no. are multiple players. ESR. You, play you want to fucking try ESR? No. I want to. There's three players I think deserve more of a chance now at that position than Kai Havertz. Three. I'm gonna fuck about it. I'm gonna say five. I'm gonna let this Yes, he is. I mean, you already know what I'm gonna say. I bro. don't he, think, bro. He has to, bro. He, come on. I, I just don't see what you see in Fabio right now. He hasn't proven that anything at all. What man. has Kai Havertz proven, Bobby? What has he done? Why are you guys so willing to give this dude five games? Because there's no nothing. other player that can play that position. Because you're saying, Does look, Kai look, Kai look at your statement about Arteta, though. Can Kai Havertz play that position? But look at your statement about Arteta, though. Huh? You're giving him a five because he played Kai Havertz, bro. That's what that's basically you're saying. He took too fucking long making changes. No, I don't think so. He put him dude, on at the 70th minute. The changes, the three changes that he that he made. They had 30 minutes to play. That was with added time. We don't count added time. Why not? Because added time could be three minutes for all we know. Huh? Added time could be three minutes for all we know. No, not with the But it moves. wasn't. 30 minutes? You don't think 30 minutes they could do something in 30 minutes? Paulo, Eric, we, we did want, something. We, want... we scored two goals. Guys, and he we gave won the what? Game, the, the, guys, we won the he game at the last uh, minute, Reece guys. He like 15, 20 minutes. Guys, we won the game at the last minute. Do you not remember that? We didn't win 3-1. We won 2-1. We barely won 2-1. Last time I checked, the score said 3-1. Okay, yes, but that was the last fucking minute goal. And then the, game, the goal before that was like three minutes prior to that. Oh, no, no, pues. And in all the games that we've won after a halftime, it's like we've tied those games. Come on, Paulo. Stop. We got three points. Bro, dude. we won. Okay, stop so, with the three point shit. So this not, is the same three point shit you were saying after Crystal Palace. He's not going to start, he's start, not gonna start Jesus shit. right away because he's still coming back from an injury. He, he might not even get the full 90 next game either. Jesus should have come on at the. Man. 50th, 60th minute mark, latest. Yeah, and guess what? The players that he put in were perfect for that last moment when we did get a goal. Yes, and that was all him. Bro, he could have said, nah, let's go ahead and hit, let's hit the bus, bro. He could have said that. And then I would have rated him a fucking two if he would have done that shit. All right, so so what's the... Yeah. How would you... What would you have done if it was Arteta? No Kai Arteta. Havertz. No more Kai Havertz. I would have done that today. No more Kai Havertz. No starting I'm Kai done, Havertz. Bro. No, no, no. It's stop. It's stop, it's stop motherfucker. Kai Havertz, no more starting Kai Havertz. No more starting Kai Havertz. I would have started... I would have started in Ketia again today. Yes, I would have started in Ketia. But I would have put on Jesus at the 50th minute mark at the latest. Maybe even the second half because Ketia was not working. I would have done that. I would have replaced... Uh, Kai Havertz with either ESR or Fabio, who had a great performance last week. And but not this week, though, right? He got an assist this week. He got 20 minutes to do something. But you said that that goal don't count after 90 minutes. Now it all, all of a sudden it counts. Shut up. All of a fucking sudden it counts, bro. I'm not saying it doesn't count. I'm no. saying that the game was a lot tighter than it looked. We almost lost that game. No, Can you that, disagree that with me that we true. almost lost that game? 
But I, I, I had confidence, dude. I wasn't... Well, Papa, he was over here. He almost had a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, he was he pissed. Was but now he's, all, now he's acting, oh, we got three points. What were we worried about? I saw your fucking funky ass get up whenever we, whenever Kai Havertz gave that ball away, man. I saw that. You're not hiding this man, shit. Man, you were also, you were complaining about that as well, that he took too long for the subs. Yeah, I, I did complain were. about that. But you got, we also got to remember that this is new rules, though, with the 10 minutes. I think, I think we got to, you know, not 10 minutes, yeah. but we got to realize that more in, more pretending goes on on the field, more minutes get added uh, after 90 minutes. You guys you guys are just really pissed off because he didn't make the subs 10 minutes prior. Yeah. How do we how do we know can how long can Fabio really just run with the intensity that we play? Come on, guys. This is a professional player. I imagine they can at least play one half of fucking intense No, football. but some no, 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 but you've seen other players that are just they're just not up to par. I don't know why. Yo, Fabio doesn't remember the fucking Europa League from last year, bro. Come on, man. Fabio played those games, and you complain the fact that this guy is a professional. Yeah, but he's playing player, well bro. now, isn't he? He's playing well now. He played he's... one game, bro. One game. And he still hasn't played the full nine. How many games has Kai played and not done shit? Three or oh, four now. Four, motherfucker. <laughs> so what more y'all need? Four. And before that, he said scored two goals in preseason, bro. Two we're, goals. We're in counting preseason, preseason round. We're counting preseason. Bro, that's good enough. Are to we going to count practice game, too? Bro. Follow that's how many good goes enough to start practice. your first game. Fuck out of here. That's good enough to start Ka your first game. Arteta, he gets a five. His If he continues to be this stubborn, he's going to cost us points. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't saying no more. I ain't speaking I'm no more. I'm giving him a seven. How much did you give him? Look, I haven't played in the MLS game. That's all I know, bro. Paul, Paulo gave him a seven. I gave him a five. What are you giving him, Eric? I'm giving him a seven as well. Thank you. Ramsdale. Yeah. Where are we starting? Ramsdale. I'll give him a six. I don't think he really did anything. Did he make any saves? I'm trying to think. If anything, he made like one save. One or two saves. And then the goal, I feel like the goal was, there's nothing he could really do. You know what? I didn't see us playing a lot with the uh, with Ramsdale today, like from the back. I think uh, Saliba was playing a lot uh, off the back, or at least he was trying to with the first half. But then second, kind of, it was much more through the wings than we were uh, through the middle with uh, or through the back. I'm gonna give him a six. I'm with Eric. Six. Um. I'm gonna give him a. I'm gonna give him a six. I want to give him a five point five. I'm gonna give him a six. A six? Yeah, I'll just give him a six. I I feel like he didn't contribute much to the game as far as like his passing out the back. Um. Now nah, you know what? I gotta keep it real. Five point five. He didn't get, he didn't play out the back too well. And again, I do think he could have done a little better for the game. Too well. Nah, he he wasn't he wasn't really passing out the back all that well. Like, he wasn't really on, in charge of that a whole lot. Who, uh, you talk, you're still talking about Ramso, right? Yeah, Ramso. I don't think that was the game plan, though. I mean, that's whatever. fine. It's just 5.5. I don't know why, why he does point fives, but whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see. Right back, Ben White. <clears throat> He was gonna get destroyed by Ramsdale or by Rashford a couple of times. Yeah, he did. He got he got burned a couple of times. You could say that the goal was mildly his fault. He could have done better. I'll give him a five point five. It was it was his fault. I think I think it was majorly his fault. The most well, other than probably Kai, and uh, he had a really good pass though. And but he was getting torched by Ramsdale or by Rashford a pretty good amount. Oh, he should have gotten an assist. You're right. I'll give him a, I'll give him a five. I'll give him a five point five. I'm with the four point five. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Fabian. Five point five sounds about right. Uh, Ashford, mm -hmm. but on that, I what don't think anybody. Uh, I think he did a good job. I'll give him a seven. Yeah. Um, I'm what did you give him? Six point five. Yeah, right there. Uh, and then what did Tyler give him? A five. I don't know why. Uh, Tyler, explain. No, I think yourself. he said four. Uh, yeah, I think he said four. Did you say four or five? Three, I, I'm sorry. I still think he's the reason why that first goal went in. I mean, you got to defend that, though. Why Why do you think he was a four? <laughs> I'm 
I mean, okay, Tyler, keep in mind that six is average for us. Okay, then if six is average for you, then he's a five. Because to be honest with you, I don't remember him making really much of a defensive play. You're right, his passing wasn't the best. And my biggest critic for that is just poor positioning and defense. Like, your main thing is to defend the goal. Your job, not nothing else, nothing more. Do your job. Do the basics. If you can't do the basics, you're below average. That's what I always like, say. Yes, thank you. That was a, I like that, but I'll, I'll still keep my 6.5. <laughs> Since we won. <laughs> what did Fabian say? No, I said a 7. Wrong. Gabriel. Man, it's good to see this man back. Good to have him Absolutely. back. Like, this is the tank, man. This is like the guy that uh, you, you sent out to, to battle, right? After the you send the, the front line, you send him to just crush everybody. He really makes some room for you. <laughs> 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 he's a hey, he did that, man. He, he's just, I mean, you could see from the start when he tackled um, uh, Anthony. Man, I was oh, yeah, just like, yeah. "Whoa, okay, this man is this man is back. He's putting his foot down. He's like, I'm here. There's nobody getting past me, bro. That's it. Nah, man. This this guy, he's he's the. You can't break up a partnership like these two. I just don't think that that's the right thing to do, personally. Yeah, remember um, uh, Tetas Essentials? He's an essential, bro. <laughs> he needs to start. He needs to. Man, him yeah. and Saliba are like those the, the pairing. That sometimes seems off, but at the same time they're they're together. It's just I, I, that, that's my pairing for me. There's no other pairing. No white. No uh, Jakku. None of them. Them two right there. What do you rate him? I give him a uh, seven point five. Um, with that too, I rate him slightly better than uh, Saliba today. Uh, no mistake in him, and he made a couple of crunching tackles in the first half that like kind of set the tone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Really. So let's go with Sinchenko, man. Sinchenko. God, I miss this player. Six. Six? Oh, hell no. Six. No, nah, I'm gonna give him a. Uh, Sinchenko for me gets a. Uh, he gets a seven point five today. Five. Seven point five. Yes. He. No. Six. Look. None of these players, they all are average. None of them made any plays. None of them did No, man. See, Tyler, you, guys you didn't. Did you guys did not attack the entire – like, you and I must have been watching two separate games. I don't remember Arsenal just bombarding United all game. You know what it was, but, Tyler? But it's that flow, though. You know what it was, Tyler? You didn't – I don't think you – did you watch the last game that Arsenal played against Fulham? Poland? No, Fulham, when we played Fulham. Uh, did you watch uh, that game? Because no, no. we looked absolutely terrible in build up. Yeah, but game. I don't. I don't give my ratings based off. I rate the game, not the game pass. No, you gotta put context into this shit, man. Okay, context. <laughs> of nine minutes, not the past hundred and eighty minutes. I just he he helped us. Like we weren't excellent because if we're excellent, fucking you know. Typically on those type of games, Sinchenko gets like an 8.5 or an 8, where he helps control the game to that degree. But, man, we just we just missed him so much. Like, he just helped control the game. He didn't lose any fucking game, any, any, uh, he didn't lose any, any defensive duels, really, what against happened? Anthony. Like three different people that can't hit the ball. And that's mostly because Anthony sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Right. But, no, yeah, I give him a 7.5 for sure. Man. Okay, I'll go first. Let, stop, let me go first right, from an go, unbiased go. perspective here. Who's just going to give him a fucking <laughs> Oh, here we go. 7.5. Okay, finally. Ooh. That's good. Okay. Is, is he worth 100 mil? Why are we asking? Yes. I, he's, worth, I, he's worth 100 mil. Like, I'm not saying it's not. No, oh, just <laughs> stop, man. Stop. If anything, Bellingham was under. He was underpriced. Yeah, no, sure. I'm starting to think we robbed Dortmund. Yeah. Like, the amount of goals he scored and saved for Madrid already this season is stupid. He should have been going for – he should have been a player that's going for 180, 150 plus. Yeah. Should have, he probably should have gone for, like, 140, 160. So. Uh, but no. I like Declan Rice. Like, I, I, think he's, I think he does his job. So, 7.5. Isn't it, isn't it a six when you do your job? <laughs> True, but he scores. That brings us the 1.5 bonus. That was a clutch goal, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Tyler on, on, on that one now, honestly. Spot on. I'm going to give him a 7.5. Uh, 
Um, actually, you know what? No, I'll give him an eight. I'll give him an eight. Um, he was excellent without the goal. He was excellent. Probably one of our better players. Probably top two, top three. Um, and then he scored that clutch ass goal. So that's that wasn't just any goal. We were gonna fucking tie that game, if not lose it. That's that was right after the the goal that they uh, they got chalked off. So um, yeah, eight for me. Um, you know, a fucking defensive midfielder has no right to be scoring that shit. That was super clutch. That was def- yeah. definitely on some brotherly shit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we win this game last year. Um, not with Partey and that's the CDM role. I think last year, last year we we got made a fool by uh, Rashford through the middle, and I think this 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 time around, I think we really kind of stabilized that with Rice. I mean, I saw Rice intercepting that ball. I think at least on like four or or five times today. Yeah, I got the, I the got ball. the stats. I got the stats. Keep going though. Yeah, now, but this is also. I feel like you guys aren't taking into account that this is a weekend Manchester United team. Why is it's it weekend? What? It's weekend. Why? Well, they had Lisandro. They didn't have Varane. Okay. They don't have Luke Shaw. Now, so we have a return they, of Jesus. We don't have Ma- Jesus. That's Martinez cool. was injured. Well, I can do that too. Where yeah, I can exactly. say uh, Jesus is not uh, in form. I can say Kyle Havertz is not in form. I can say that what Martinez no, is just but not we're, in form. But that's Except that's something different guy. though, because we have a whole complete team though. So it's pretty much. Do we, we, we bought have, new players. Well, we well bought Jeffers new players. Is like, he's part of the, the entire, like, He uh, wasn't there last Topia. year. No. I don't know. I'm not ready. Eric, they weren't missing any one critical, critical player that they have. They had Casemiro. They had Erickson. They had Rashford. Who are they missing? Well, That's they're like missing. Okay, the for Mount. But I'm not even counting that. Mount I'm not is even a new player that. that's a four. I'm not dude. even counting that. Calm down. Oh, okay, Let me sorry. talk. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> My bad. You're right. Baron, Baron, he's super critical. Is he not? Uh, he, yes. He's on. super critical. Luke Shaw, that's super critical. And then later on in the game, Martinez. It's another fucking... He completely... All those three players pretty much completely changed that whole defense. What do you mean, Martinez? What about him? He got injured. That was a little bit later, though, but now... He wasn't playing that but well. But Lindelof... He's still fucking... Lindelof... But yeah, because Lindelof is there. Delo is there. Those guys aren't up to par defensively with Varane and Luke Shaw. Actually, Harry Maguire caused those two goals. Just start there. Yeah. Did he? He was on the, oh, he, he was on the he field. He came in in two goals. Oh, come on now. Now y'all just trying to make a fucking scapegoat now. No, They're, no, I'm not. No, you guys were saying that last season we would have lost this game, or we wouldn't have won this game. Not- yeah, for the penalty. Do you think and, he died? I mean, I think that was pretty dangerous. The only, yeah, the only thing was the that missed chance. That was a golden opportunity, and he had to bury it. And yeah, it's not looking good. He does look like he's out of confidence, but yeah, very. Much. I, I think he'll be. Uh, I think he'll be really good. Just give him a bit more time. Do you think he should be dropped? <clears throat> um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I fully trust Fabio yet. Is there anybody else that you would prefer to have in that position other than Kai? I'd like to see Smith Rowe. I don't know why he's not getting any minutes whatsoever. It's gonna be if, a while. If we wanna, minutes. if we wanna keep him, and he's part of our plans, I don't really know what. What the plans are right now with with Smith Rowe? It seems like he's out of it. Either he really took a huge dip after that injury, or or Arteta just doesn't think that he's good enough. Really, he's probably he's right. probably. I mean, he hasn't start. He hasn't had minutes in a very long time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But we all know he's quality. He does. He's good. He's really good. I- I think Arteta's probably waiting for the for the other cups to start to give him some minutes. I don't think he trusts him in the league yet. Mm-hmm. That's probably it. But uh, I don't know why. I don't know why he it? trusts him more than uh, than Fabio. I feel like Smith. Let's go ahead and do order bar. Odie, nice finish today. That first goal was beautiful. 
He's really yeah, good he has at a that. sweet spot, man. Yeah, that's he's really sweet. good at that finish. Yeah. No, he's uh, definitely you could tell he's actually really improved a lot on his shooting, especially off the dribble. Mm-hmm. He's gotten so good. He connects really well. Like it I feel like he has a potential. I mean, I think he's always had the potential to have like a world class shooting. And now he's actually he's getting he's getting up there. He's getting better and better each year, each game even. He's a great finisher. Like he really Yeah, that was great. I feel like two years ago he would have missed that. And he did that last week too, uh, with the goal that was called offsides, or maybe that was two weeks ago. But he he clearly likes that that finish mm-hmm. to, uh, to the opposite post coming in from the from the outside of the box. Yeah, um, I would have liked to see a little bit more. I feel like he also probably didn't play so well because Casemiro was all over his ass. Casemiro was all over him and Enketia. Yeah, no, he didn't have the best game today. Would, yeah, he definitely wasn't one of our best players in my opinion. He looked okay. Yeah. So yeah, I give him a seven. I'll give him a. I'll give him a seven too. Yeah, I'll give him a seven. I feel like the way we that Arteta sets it up is that that's that little triangle and that's the partnerships that are like yeah. very very strong and mm-hmm. that that make that whole left side mm-hmm. tick and Ar- and Odegaard is pretty much in charge of the rest of the field, which is like okay. the middle yeah. and the right. But I guess when, when there's players not showing up, like, you know, when, when Kai isn't really gelling with the rest of the team, then I guess Paulo saying that he would like Odegaard to, like, have more responsibility, I guess. Which I understand because I think I think Odegaard's the type of player to be able to assume responsibility. I mean, he's the captain. He's the main mm-hmm. creative force, really. So I kind of understand why Paulo would say that. It's not really his job, but I guess because we're lacking so much in that position right now, it should be. He should have taken up on himself to, to do more on that side. Well, no. All right. What about Saka, though? Uh, very quiet game. Super one of, quiet. One of the and then one, when he did have a chance, he failed. Oh, yeah. He shot it straight at the goalkeeper. That was terrible. That was unforgivable. Uh, I'm going to give him a five today. I thought it was a poor game for him. Mm. Yeah. You know, he also... I feel like he also went back a lot and helped Ben White a lot. I would see him back there. I think at one point I saw him at a center back spot. Oh yeah, that's when he but that's when he gave the ball away though. You remember that? Yeah. But yeah, he was back there helping a lot because Rashford was such a threat. Yeah, he put in some good tackles today. I, he did put in three tackles and he succeeded in all of them. He was good in that. Yeah. I can teach you. in Kentia today. Oh, he was he was, de- he was decentish. He was I pretty much average. I think he was average. He did. There was some stuff that he wasn't doing so great, but there was some stuff that he was doing really good at. He was defending pretty good. He was just getting those 50-50 balls. Um, but yeah, his passing was, I think, a little bit not so good. Like he was, you could tell he's got. He was very limited in his passing. Is that like false eight where he would go turn around and then pass? His passing isn't great, and um, he would take a lit like a second too long on the ball sometimes, and they would just go and close him out really quick. Yeah, they were marking him really well, and he struggles when he doesn't have space. Yeah, so I'm giving him a five. I'm giving him a five as well. Uh, I think this was probably his worst performance so far this season for us. I think he looked really poor today. Um, he wasn't really getting in the positions that he typically gets in. He wasn't making runs off the ball. He was really trying to play that number nine role, but it doesn't suit him too well. So it was it was like he was trying to be something he's not, and it really showed. He did. He was in the buildup for the goal, though. Uh, he, and he, he has he a couple pass, of good passes to Martinelli as well. Yeah, he. he I just uh, he looks. It doesn't, he doesn't look great with his back to goal, though. They were, like, bullying him off the ball. And then like, another thing, I, then he also, wasn't he part of the build-up for the chance that Saka got? No, that was, uh, I don't think so. I think that was. Oh, that was Jesus, guy. right? That was Jesus. My bad. Yeah. No, not, not I think great. I get this good. He got a, an assist. Marty got an assist. And, um... um that's, I mean, as far as, like, contributions, that was pretty much it. 
but yeah, he had good crosses. Like yeah, his crosses, crosses were dangerous. The only thing though, we don't have an aerial threat. No. If we had an aerial threat, we had somebody like Tony. We had somebody a little bit taller, uh, a little bit more proficient in the air. I think they'd be fucking da- super dangerous, incredibly dangerous. The thing yeah. I like about Gabby is that he always is willing to take his man on, and Saka is. He's kind of he can be like that, but he's he's way less consistent with that. He's like sometimes he feels like he doesn't want to. He's reluctant to, and Martinelli Wait, never who? is. Wait, who? Saka or Martinelli? I, I'm comparing Martinelli to Saka. I, I'm saying that Martinelli's always willing to try to take his man on, always, no matter how the game is okay. going, no matter how he's playing. Whereas Saka is more like you know he's gonna try to influence the game in other ways. But I, I just love that directness from Martinelli. Today he had five dribbles. By far the most in the team, and but he tried nine, <laughs> so he was trying to get past. Um, who was on that right side? Juan Bissaka. Juan Bissaka, and and he did it. Like he he you know, sixty percent. Um, and he put in some very good corners. I I just love his effort, and I think today it paid off. Um, definitely gonna give him an eight. I think he's just as good as Rice uh, performance wise. I I rate him about the same. 